Wow, after hearing the leaked audio recording of Danielle and her mother, it turns out that Danielle actually was pregnant at the age of 13. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Simon Steph and you guys, before we get into this video, I want to say that as of right now, my very first merch drop is officially live. I'm selling t-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, and track pants, which will be available in the colors of red, light blue, purple, and black. Until Friday, you can use the code SUMMER10 for a 10% discount, and after that, prices will be going up on the merch. Anyways, so Danielle Cohen has been a pretty popular topic on my channel. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I've gained a lot of clout for making videos on her. My last video on her got over 100,000 views, while the one before that got over a million views. So usually I like to poke fun at Danielle, Mikey, and the whole gang, and just have a good laugh. I have nothing against Danielle Cohen as a human being, but in this video, the jokes are aside, and in this one, I'm actually gonna be defending her. So with that being said, in today's video, we're gonna be looking at a leaked audio recording of Danielle Cohn and her mother, where her mother, Jen, reveals that she let Danielle have an abortion earlier this year. And also, we're gonna be taking a look at the sad and shocking truth about her mother and the way that she acts off camera. But before we get into this, if y'all could leave a like on this video, it truly would mean a lot. And what that will allow is for this video to perform better in the algorithm so more and more people can watch this video and be informed with what is going on. Hopefully, we can truly make a difference and get Danielle out of that house ASAP. Anyways, enough of me talking and let's get into the tea. So a few months back, I made a video about Danielle Cohn and the possibility that earlier this year she was pregnant. There was evidence that suggested that she was pregnant, such as her saying that on January 28th, she was getting some type of mystery medical procedure done. Then she made a series of tweets saying how much pain she's in and that she'll need a few days to fully recover. And finally, she revealed that she got an angel wing tattoo with the date January 28th, 2020. Coincidentally, the exact same date she was getting her medical procedure done. And I know pregnancies usually are private information, but it's different when this is a 13 year old social media influencer who is posting this stuff online. It is a very serious matter and it is nothing to glorify or influence people to do. So just recently on July 16th, 2020, a shocking audio recording was leaked. And in this audio recording, a conversation can be heard between Danielle Cohn and her mother, Jennifer. I can't do it. And I cannot deal with you not sticking out for me in some sense. And you're cold hearted to me all the time. And you only care about yourself and what's best for you. And you just don't think about other, how other people feel. So it looks like Jen is extremely upset with Danielle and the way that she's been acting recently. She claims that Danielle was cold hearted and only cares about herself and always leaves her mother under the rug. And sure, maybe Danielle hasn't been showing much love towards her mother, but I mean, can we really blame her? In that leaked recording, Danielle's mom then goes on to saying how the internet's been saying that she's a horrible mother. I'm getting all kinds of shit on the internet right now about being a horrible mom. And I'm starting to really think I am. And honestly, we can't really blame people for thinking that. Her mom allowed her to illegally get tattoos at the age of 13. Her mother has continuously exploited her for money from not only allowing but encouraging Danielle to post extremely inappropriate photos of her for her age and manipulating her into thinking she's Hispanic in order to profit off the Hispanic culture in her music videos. Her mother has also let her do promotions for Bang Energy since she was 13 years old despite those types of drinks being recommended for people 18 years and older. Her mother has banned her from seeing her father who just wants better for Danielle. And let's not forget, he even has a custody agreement to see her a few times a year, which Jen has continuously violated. I care about my daughter. I love my daughter. I wish I was with her as often as I was supposed to be with the custody agreement that I fought for in court. Um, this is an agreement that was signed by her mother. This is an agreement that should be held up, but has never been held up. Jen has also allowed Danielle to date boys who are several years older than her, including her current boyfriend who is 18 years old. And let's not forget that only a few months ago, Danielle turned 14 and her boyfriend is 18 years old, which makes this whole thing very illegal. So next, I want to reveal the part of the audio recording where Jen reveals that she let her daughter Danielle have an abortion at 13 years old. Because of these I'm letting you do this at this age. I'm letting you do that. I allowed you to have an abortion. I allowed, and this is all the shit that they're saying on there. I allowed so much that I shouldn't have allowed. And it's allowed you to be the person you become. Yeah, you heard that right. Jen says that she allowed Danielle to have an abortion. All I have to say is that when a 13 year old becomes pregnant, her mother shouldn't be the one who says that she is allowed to have an abortion or not. After all, it is Danielle's body and not her mother's. So if she did not want to have a kid, she is more than capable of making that decision because at the end of the day, you know, 
it is her body. The argument between the two gets really heated and I wanna show you this part because it is just completely shocking what you're about to hear Jen say to her own daughter. You don't not. say something because you do the same shit to me and then no, I do it back. Me saying freaking childish insults is a, a difference. No, it's not literally like you say a lot on a worse topic shit. that you know that You I'm say sensitive. a lot worse shit. Don't even go there with me. Mom. You know it. Okay, Danny, okay, whatever. The is you were like, at least I didn't kill my child. You were yeah, well, Wow. Seriously, just wow. Jen really just told her own daughter, at least I didn't kill my own child. That insult is the absolute lowest of lows. What's wrong is that Jen did a terrible job as a mother and let her own daughter think that at the age of 13, doing that kind of stuff in the bed was okay. What Danielle needs is to be educated in life, which her mother clearly has not been doing. Did Jen seriously expect Danielle to be old enough to take care of a child at the age of 14? That's just ridiculous. And that's Danielle's mom for you guys, constantly placing the blame on Danielle and can't take responsibility for her lack of parenting. It's just funny how Jen always seems to be playing the victim because she's Miss Perfect and is always innocent. But in reality, she can never place the blame on herself and is continuously exploiting her daughter for money. So by making this video, I'm not trying to bash or hate on Danielle at all. That is not what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to stir up any drama by any means. And after you're done watching this video, I don't want people going on her social media accounts and you know, hating on her and stuff about this because that's not what I want to do. It's a very sensitive topic. But the reason that I made this video is that Dustin Cohn, AKA Danielle's dad, has been trying to get his voice heard but has continuously been silenced by Jen. Dustin made a YouTube channel about a month ago exposing Danielle's age and how what her mother has been forcing her to do is cruel and wrong. How her family doesn't feel worried about a 14 year old being posted in those kind of positions, in those kind of manners, dating a now 18 year old is is confusing to me but unfortunately dustin's account was removed from youtube shortly after and could not have his voice heard by many people the argument gets so heated that at one point danielle's mom tells her to go live with her dad for a while do you go live with dustin for a while do you go live with dustin for a while I'm very curious as to how this is gonna play out. If Danielle does live with her dad for a while, he might gain custody of her once again. That is gonna change the entire thing. We've had controversial social media stars in the past, such as Lil Tay. Lil Tay's mother and older brother orchestrated her entire act, but people didn't know until her recording was leaked. Honestly, it would not surprise me that if Danielle's dad does regain custody of her and she lives with him for now on instead of her mother, that within the next few months, Danielle's gonna make a video revealing her true age. So. I'm calling that now. I feel like by the end of this year, that's gonna happen. So as of now, no one knows who recorded this audio of Danielle and her mother, but it's very interesting to think of. It could have been her brother, Chad, but that wouldn't really make much sense. It could have been Mikey, but that wouldn't make much sense either because if Danielle's dad did get back custody of her, I know her dad for sure would not approve her dating an 18 year old. And it could have been Danielle, which honestly seems pretty likely. If this was Danielle who did the audio recording, this could be her cry for help to show people what goes on off camera camera and the dark truth about her life. So that's why I made this video to use my audience to get the message out there. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. If you haven't already, make sure to leave a like on this video. It truly would mean a lot. As I said, the video will perform better in the algorithm and then more and more people will be informed with the situation that's going on. Also, as of today, merch is officially live on the store. Go cop it, go buy it, purchase it. So check the description box or I'll leave a pinned comment for the link to the store. But anyway, guys, until next time, it's been Ivan Steph. Peace.